coach coming off a, a big road win at Eastern Illinois. I know it started out a little bumpy, but the guys came back resilient, uh, stayed in it, made some good halftime adjustments. Yeah. Shut them out second half and came away with that road win. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, um, start from the beginning of the game. Well, first of all, it's good to get a uh, good to get a win. Um, you know, going on the road. I think we've won what, three times in the history of our program there. Okay, so hadn't had a lot of success. So I guess last time we won there was 16, maybe, and lost in 18, and then had them here twice. So uh, no, good to get a win. Uh, every game has has a life of its own. Uh, but I thought that our our kids. Um, I thought there was good energy. I thought we were physical. Uh, but obviously, you got you know the execution part early. You know, you hit the big play to start the game. Zoe makes a big play. Uh, we got a little tempo going, and then we put the ball on the ground. You know, so you lose a little, you lose a little air there. Uh, we miss we misfit something on uh, you know on a short yardage play, and they get out the you know the big run. Um, you know, and good execution by them, poor by us. Uh, you know, and so it got us a little bit rattled there, but then, you know, things kind of got calmed down and we blocked the punt, you know, punt safe and DeBose blocks the punt and Fufu scoops and scores. So now, you you know, you feel like that you're back on track, but to their credit, they, uh, they fought back and, and uh, you know, we put it on the ball, put it on the ground again, uh, ball slipped out of Keon's hand. And so now 17, 14 and a half. And I don't um, recollect it. I guess we've been down at half or have we not? Uh, which game was that? The one we lost. No, we were up 24-20 at, at Sanford. Oh, it was Jack State. Okay, so you know, there's a lot of lot of um, you know a lot of emotions that that come with that. But uh, great job by our defensive staff and our defensive players the second half. Uh, that was impressive defense uh, to be able to go out. And uh, who knows how that game turns out if we don't go play as well. I think they had what only two drives in the third quarter. Something like that, two, three and outs or something, uh, you know. But we still don't take the lead until the first few minutes of the of the fourth quarter. Um, so that was good, you know. There was kind of a sigh of relief when I guess we could get up, make it eleven or whatever, and wish we could have finished the game there. But um, uh, we came up short on you know fourth down there, and defense had to go back out. But anyway, on the road you get a win. Uh, the, the goal was to get to you know win, be one and zero to get you to two and zero in the conference. Um, you know, so it, it, it was good to see that. Um, individual players that I thought that, uh, you know, Zach Wallace, uh, you know, 21 carries and, and two touchdowns and 121 yards, that was impressive. You know, Peyton was a little bit banged up, but he still chipped in, I think, with about 90 total yards uh, somewhere in there. You know, um, you know, some, you know, a couple big plays by Rodney Williams in the, in the past game. Uh, you know, Keon made some good throws, had some good runs as well. Um, you know, on, on defense, I think, uh, again, you know, Keon, I mean, excuse me, Fufu being a player of the week uh, in the conference, um, you know, Yabi having two sacks, uh, being disruptive. Uh, John Ford, you know, I think he had 10 tackles or so. Uh, got good play from Shamberger and O'Shea Baker in the secondary and a lot of tackles by Takeem with a big pick and the interceptions. Uh, Devin Sims, uh, you know, chipping in his usual 10, you know, 10 tackles. Uh, so, you know, very pleased with that. Didn't play well in the kicking game. Um, you know, I think maybe the win, whatever, got into our head a little bit. But uh, we, we got to got to make those field goals. And, uh, you know, those those make a big, huge difference for us. So, um, but move on to, a, to another conference at home this week. Talk a little bit about the resiliency you mentioned just a minute ago. And that's two times on the road now, Jack Savis, where you come back in the second mm -hmm. Is that building the confidence level mm -hmm. where they now don't feel they can make it? I, no, I think so. And once again, now you know, even though Keon may make a mistake here and there, he gives those players a belief, all right. And but but and now you know, there's some receivers that are you know they give us a belief, and and the running game has been has been you know pretty productive. And now when you start, you know, it's throwing up a zero in the second half, right? You start believing, okay, if we can just catch up, you know, maybe the defense can do some things. So. Um, you know those things are those things are working together. Uh, you know you want to play cleaner and you want to play more efficient and and all that. Just doesn't happen sometimes. Uh, give them credit. They had two weeks off and and they were well prepared and and there was uh, you know a lot of things that we had practiced for that 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 they didn't have to go to. They went to some other things uh, in their in their defensive menu and. And like I said, you know, we were moving the ball. I didn't realize we were. You know, I think we ended up. Uh, what was it like? Um, 
um, what was it, six for six, seven for sixteen? Yeah, I think it was like seven for sixteen, which is a good third down conversion. It just seemed it's it, it didn't seem like we were that high. I guess we had the two three and outs that kind of, and then the two turnovers. Um, you know, which made it, you know, we still were at 393, rushed for over 200 yards. Uh, so, you know, in the spring, believe me, I'd love to have 393 yards and scored 28 points. So, uh, you know, we just had some big games and, and sometimes you you expect those things to happen. That's good. You need those expectations. Talk a little bit about Zach, what he's added to an offense that we already know is explosive in a lot of different ways and just what he's been able to come back to. You know, Zach's, um, first of all, Zach's just a great person, a great teammate, he's a hard worker, uh, and he's a bigger back. And so, uh, you know, when he's, he's able to break some arm tackles and then, and, then he's, and then he's got some, you know, some good speed as well. Um, you know, it's been really neat to watch, not just his, but I'll use his uh, in particular, the development of players, okay? When you know, sometimes when you come out of high school, the ball's handed to you, and you're the best athlete on the team, and you're just able to you know outrun people. Uh, you know, but when you get to college, and, and those holes are they they open and close so fast, and you know it, it takes a lot of discipline, which that Zach is, you know, to have the right steps. You do a lot of research as a staff, right? And say, you know, we want the back to be at this alignment and take this step, and we want you know his aim and point is on the center or on the guard, and it could be a zone scheme or a gap scheme. And Zach, it's just real nice to to be able to have conversations now with Zach. He's coming off the sideline. You know, did did you pressure Landmark? Did, did you feel like you pressed it long enough? And he, I coach, I felt something from the you know from the backside. So he, he's able to talk to you like a coach. And Bonte Howard, our running back coach, coach, has done a great job with him in his development as a player. And you're seeing the you know the fruits of their labor now. You got like Devonte Howard, a very good player here. T.J. Jefferson as well. Mm -hmm. it's on your staff. Here. And Antonio Clifton. Antonio Clifton. Yeah. Those guys, how have they really settled in with you coaching this year? You know, it, it, that's part of the, I say, secret to our success, okay? You know, we talk a lot about every, every, every football coach in America wants to have culture, their vision of what their team's habits are and their program's habits are and stuff. And by hiring those former players, and we were, I was talking to them about in staff meeting this morning, there's so many things that – that can go unsaid and 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 undone that that guys like TJ Antonio and and Vonte that they do for us in our program because they were coached that way when they were here. Okay, whether it be how we check roll when we get on the bus, uh, uh, to to handling things in the hotel, to making sure the the pregame is a, is a certain way, and. Um, uh, it's really, I really enjoy it because there's sometimes I'm able to just kind of sit back and look and see, and I and I see Antonio doing something, whether it be on campus or with recruits, that he knows that I'm going to want done, and uh, that's that's uh, uh, those guys got a bright future in this profession. I hope I can keep them here as long as I can, but um, you know, as long as we've got some some guys that this profession that they choose, it's advantageous to us to keep them in our program. Yeah, no, it's very important. You know, we uh, our formula that works for us here is you know the foundation of as many Tennessee kids first, all right, and then you know West Tennessee kids. Um, you know, they just it, it gives us a certain toughness. They understand. I, I've said this for years. You know, Fufu he knows what the Soybean Festival is, is about. Okay, he understands. He 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 knows who's that uh, Tom Elam Tom and Kathleen Elam Center is is named after. Okay, he knows who Jerry Reese is or, or where Lake County is and stuff. All those things that are connected with our program, and um, you know, so he he gives us um, that glue factor. And early in his career, he we, he was still playing safety. He was kind of out of position. Really didn't have a position. And then he kind of when we made the switch to linebacker, things just really uh, started clicking for him. And so this six years really benefited him, and he's just uh, really blossoming and, and going to make some great memories. And, and he's graduated, you know, which is the, the most important thing. But absolutely, uh, you know, uh, uh, Fufu is just uh, a great teammate and is well liked by his teammates, and he's playing really well. Whether it's fair or not, I think Rodney was looked at as a wide receiver that was playing mm -hmm. tight end last year. How has he developed? Because I feel like he's really got it in there. And yeah. Especially some of these touchdowns by Wallace recently, you see Rodney really leading that block down there at the goal 
one? No, good point. I would tell you Rodney's getting better every week as a blocker. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we probably shortchange him a little bit in the past game, to be quite honest with you, because those tight ends, they have to do so much. I mean, there's 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 routes they have to run, there's blocking schemes, there's backfield, you know, so they're so they're half receiver, half offensive lineman, half running back. And so and there's it's very difficult during the day to to have enough time. And, you know, from a coaching staff standpoint, we've always been somewhat understaffed. So, you know, that guy's that tight end position is split between, you know, our tight end tackle coach and a receiver coach. OK, we don't have a guy that's just a tight ends coach because of um, of how we're having to set our staff up. So to Rodney and Richie's credit, they've done a really good job. I was very fortunate to have both of them, uh, and and then they and they've really kind of taken the next step, uh, growing and and because uh, from a blocking standpoint, because you know we, we've played in eleven personnel or twelve personnel, which is one tight end or two tight end, um, you know, almost one hundred percent of the ninety nine percent of the time. Okay, and we've got good enough receivers to go ten personnel, but. Um, you know, being able to, to keep those guys on the field, uh, you know, makes you have to respect certain run game and stuff. So good for Rodney. Being able to get Donnell back, you made a big, big plays. First time really since week one. How big is it to be able to get a target like that back and the veteran leadership too? No, it was. It was. You know, now Zoe's playing well. Now he's still young and makes some mistakes. But, you know, the two plays, you know, there's, there's times that I call plays to target. You know, uh, Zo. He's uh, he's an, he's fast. He's strong. He's got good hands, and 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 he's got a bright future here. But the experience of Donnell, the size, you know, there in the red zone, getting him in. Uh, you know, we got to figure out a way, and we may have to do it this week of get Donnell and Zo in to get in the game together. And so those are some things that we'll have to do. Um, you know, going going forward. So, um, but no, what a great play! What a great catch we laid out for the touchdown. Uh, but to have him back is kind of a security blanket. I don't know if Keon's thrown to him enough to where he sees him as a, as a security blanket because, you know, we didn't have him, you know, we had him the first game and he had the seven catches. It has been in and out of the lineup a little bit since then. He was out, I guess, for three or four weeks. But to me, he's a security blanket. And when I know where Donnell is, all right, you know at any time, uh, if he gets man coverage, there's a chance, his own coverage, you know, he's such a big target to find. So getting him back is important to us. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, um, you know, don't know. I think Colton's going to go to the doctor tomorrow, so we'll see. You know, we'll see how the foot is. Um, you know, Lamar's in a boot, so we'll see how that. You know, this time of year, are we going into Game Seven? Unfortunately, it's just it's part of it. <coughs> so, and it's whatever team kind of can play through it. Or, or guys can can play through the injury, or you got solid backups can go give you a chance. So it's concerning, but I'm, unfortunately, I'm sure we're not the only one. Seema, this week, um, we, I think rivalry is a word thrown around a lot, but it means <coughs> you know, kind of been a, a game that encircled the last couple of years. Um, what do you see going into that matchup and starting a three-game homestand? Well, certainly we're glad to be home. Uh, for sure, <clears throat> and play in front of our family and friends. But, um, you know, Simo, when I think of them, you start with their coach. Uh, we had a lot of success here. I think before um, I killed Coach Toop before he got there, I think we were probably 9-1 and one or something like that against Simo. But since he's been there, <clears throat> he's got the better end of the deal. It starts with his, his toughness, his defense is schematically tough, physically tough. <clears throat> They're going to run the ball. Uh, you know, over the years they've had some good, you know, they've had some good wide outs and they've thrown the ball on us as well. I think they've beat us the last three times, uh, you know, to their credit. So, uh, you know, we've, um, you know, lost to them in the spring, a pretty close game, 21-16, something like that. Uh, but um, be a tough one. Uh, you know, from here on out, you know, you at some point you like to get a, a kind of get a, uh, you know, be able to take a deep breath and, you know, but it won't be like that. All the games will be fourth quarter games. We'll have to play well. We'll have to fight through some injuries. Uh, they just lost a tough one this past week, uh, you know, to Murray where they, they had it in hand, 31-16. So pretty similar to what we had Murray, right? So we were able to finish it off and they just had some 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 bad breaks. So I'm sure, you know, they'll be fighting for their for their for their conference lives. Uh, and we gotta be able to make sure we match, you know, match that um, tension to detail and intensity.